پیش بری He mantles up a bit. When I get near him, he's still, he's still a bit unsure of me. He thinks I'm going to take the food away, even though I've. Oh, he's going to try and get off now. That wasn't good. Give him another chip. But he's. So he's starting to really settle in again make he's not sort of um seeing me as a threat anymore but if i put my hand over there he does mantle up like that which he wouldn't normally do so he's still not quite right still not fully trusting but he's he's coming over quite quick he had a bit of pigeon yesterday and um he's certainly not light in any way but he's coming to me glove a lot quicker over the last few days. Keep doing this. The fuller his crop gets, the less he wants to sit on my fist. But he's improving. Hopefully by the time I start reducing his weight, he'll be spot on anyway. Totally trusting in me. A lot of people do leave them in the mews and get them out. When it's time, I know. But I'm doing it this way. But that's almost two chicks he's had. Normally he wouldn't come to me fist now. But he's calm enough or trusting enough to come to me fist when he's not fully hungry. He's, he's a little bit more reluctant now because he's just had nearly two <whistles> last one I've took the yolks out of these this morning to stop it being so messy Woody. This is a mistake I've made before. Look at that. These talons get on my arm and he tries to fly off with a glove. Uh, it's not far away from doing that, so. Hopefully you won't. But it's just starting to mantle up now, so. And I can see that feather there. Almost down now. Come on, last bit. Good boy. Good boy. Don't fly.
the view this morning. It's got a few bits of meat here, chick, a bit of pigeon, a little bit of wing. So I'm going to take a little bit of wing in there first and see if you come to that. I've got the camera here this morning, so he's a little bit wary of that. But if he doesn't want to come to this pigeon wing, which will keep him on the glove, on the glove a little bit longer, then I'll change it to a chick. So I'll just give him a minute to assess the situation. <whistles> Definitely a little bit different from yesterday, but so we've got a camera in here this morning and uh, I know he'll be checking that out. But it's still good. That's, that's just on that pigeon wing. And there you go. His weight is still up. And this seems to be just because I've persevered, keep coming in each day. He's now realised that food is from the glove again. And probably only four weeks ago, that he wouldn't come near me doing this. So he's starting to trust me again now. I'm not saying to do it this way, but I'm going to keep this up now. So by the time the new feathers are fully down, and I drop his weight, we should be out flying again pretty quick. My plan is to start getting him fit. I'll be taking him just out the back from where I live here. And literally just doing a few tree hops up and down for a few days. And then slowly increase. Once I see his fitness to a level where he can fly a little bit further depending on what he's doing and then I'll um, start exercising him more and maybe I don't know three weeks to a month he should have a bit of fitness back he's a little thoughtful he's gonna fly he's trying to fly off there with my glove but it's quite amazing over the last probably eight days doing this how he's really starting to um, come back again and start to be relaxed on my glove even at whatever I fed him yesterday he had a big load of pigeon so his weight's up and he's still pretty good to the glove So I'm not showing him there's anything in the glove, so he can just see the back of my hand. But that's how I've always done it with him, even when we've been out hunting. So he don't know what's in there till he jumps up. The only time I've showed him food in my glove is when it's been raining and he's been in a tree and won't come down, then I've showed him a chick. But other than that, he never knows if there's anything in there or not. So I'll whistle him. And he's coming back to um, hopefully finding something in the glove, but not always. Seems to be enjoying that bit of pigeon wing there. A couple of months ago, he would never come to that pigeon wing, only a big juicy chick and now he's coming to the fist on the pigeon wing so he's really quite settled now I'm not sure if he's going to mantle up if I get near him and he's gonna... gone now so I've just lost him now for a little while he's gone off with that pigeon wing I will get a chick and see if I can persuade him to come back
just screamed at me then. But that's just his natural reaction. Doesn't want me to take his food, even though I've just given it to him. Just drop that piece of bone now. So let's see if I'm getting him in for a check. surprised how just in a few days of constant coming in here how he's started to accept me a lot better I think he'll still fly off with bits if he can but it just shows me that he's not so far away from being acceptable of me as I thought I'm not sure if um I've been touching his feet again, trying to get him used to that. He's still not as, not as relaxed as he was, so just take a little bit more work, I think. I'm going to turn him round. And once he starts eating, I'll see if I can show you the drain. Yeah. He's not so keen on that. Woody. Woody. So he's had a lump of pigeon and a chick at the moment. I know he's still hungry, but he's not hungry enough to come back. He's not coming in. So I'm not gonna leave this food here for him now but I'm not going to reward him for not coming in. Last chance. Woody. So he's still molting. I thought that was the end of it. While I'm in here, I'm just going to pick up some of these casts. Food through the chute. <laughs> 